What's up everybody, I am Crimson Thunder here. Welcome back to part 8 of this Let's Play Mass Effect Crimson Thunder style. Last time we ended up going about the galaxy, we ended up doing a few side quests, primarily the ones that are related to Rex and Garrus. Now, we're going to go over to the galaxy. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Alright, so this is actually part of the uh, one for Tali.
Start getting her some sniper rifle stuff. And for her, let's go. Yeah, she'll come. Re she'll come in real handy when she when we get into the uh, hacking stuff. Let's give it a raptor since it's a lot better in terms of, uh, in terms of accuracy. Tsunami is nowhere good. Shotgun on these two. Me that the, uh, 
gonna get that's gonna be waiting for us at the outpost.
driving these synthetic bastards out of the system. That was close too, because we actually ended up taking some hull damage from all those crap from all that attack. So now we're going to so now we're going to see if um, we're gonna level up. Now we're gonna start going into the fitness. Now we get the immunity, so we get more hit points, and we now get this immunity ability, which allows us to become even more resistant to damage. Gone, so now we're gonna drop the at this point. Yeah, we seem to be uh, going to in the sky. We have damp in the tower. Perimeter clear. All right, let's go, to, let's go back to the Normandy.
This outpost is for this incursion. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. And that's now what we're going to do. Right. 
Juggernaut. Basically the last of them. Let's see if we can find some stuff in here. But first we will level up.
This will actually be very helpful later on. I think this will help with the uh, tally. <laughs> I'm right here. So now let's actually start going into more of the first aid. I'm gonna go to speak to her once I think of normal. But as far as I'm concerned with this, with the uh, gas incursion, it's pretty much mission accomplished here. Garris? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. You were right about Dr. Salian, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to reapply for Spectre training. It will probably kill my father, but I've got to try. If that doesn't work, I'll do just about anything, except go back to CSAC. I'm done with them. No more red tape, no more politics. From now on, I do things my way. All right. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> Anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. 
In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Huh. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the <laughs> diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. <laughs> I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but... Credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. There's a reason for everything that happened, Shepard. Even if you don't understand it at the time. Your assignment to Elysium. It put you in the right place at the right time. Your character made you rise to the occasion. And that got you here. Commanding the finest tin can in the Alliance fleet. Tin can? This That's is exactly destroyers. where the galaxy needs you to be. No pressure. The galaxy may need me here, but I need you next to me. God, you're awful. How do you come up with these things? Sorry, I'll be serious. I... I need time to think. We've been focused on the mission. When we're done, it'll be different, I swear. I hope you can wait. As long as you need. There's some old saw about waiting and good things, isn't there? You are totally shameless. You need your own line of greeting cards. I'll warn you, though. I'm a Hellcat off the battlefield, too. Sleep tight, Shepard. Ah, so she does like this. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. I've thought this way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Words mean no, no more red tape, no more politics. I'm glad you see it. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Commander, I, I don't have time oh. for this. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, I've th this way we'll know. We'll never I'm glad you see it that way. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Yeah, I'll probably just be the. Not the Let's go talk to Alex. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years, but it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Yeah. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, 
I owe you a great debt, one I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, so that takes care of the cow. Oh, he's Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. <laughs> now I'll buy it. Now we'll go ahead and buy the sniper rifle. Much. Yeah, compared yeah, compared this to what we have here. I think the I think we'll definitely take the Spectre. Here. Buy an extra one of these for later on. I want to be able to. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? Goodbye, Commander. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Yeah, we saved more than just human lives. We saved a lot of lives. Looks like we already got rid of um, somebody in the um, Hades Gamma Cluster. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. 
That must be linked to the that's linked to the mission. So we'll land here. I'll pick Caden and Garrus. Sniper rifle.
go in. Let's actually give Caden this 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 pissed. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. What happened here? I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? Because I was on Pharaohs. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The Creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the Creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Uh, yeah. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe... When it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? No, people have lost their lives here, you know. You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. I can't let your actions go unpunished. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Seriously. Clear. 
There's been so many people who have lost our lives um, because of their irresponsibility. if you need me. Alright, let's get let's go get let's go get those other upgrades and then we'll get out of here. Turn to Normandy. And that and that was completed. But in all seriousness, I couldn't let them go I couldn't let them those actions of theirs go unpunished.
so now max out commando now we're going to go for the uh, sniper right max out the sniper right go max out pistols next and then we'll max out the sniper rifles
let's just let's give him the raptor. It's much better. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board and then... This doesn't make any sense. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. What else? What else do the logs say? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. It doesn't say anything about how the ship got back into human territory. The Geth turned them into husks, and left the ship where someone would find it. Trying to show us what happens to organics dumb enough. Enter the Vale. Yeah.
to go investigate these samples. I don't think we have ever brought Liara around before. Have mercy. The entire colony must have been transformed. Yeah, that, that don't that, that can't be good. Alright, we definitely have not used Liara here yet. Throw. She only can use the uh, pistols. Singularity. Trained with everything else. Well, I mean, yeah, you can, but they just won't be, they'll just be a hell of a lot less accurate with it. Let's go with the pistol. Okay, but I can only use one.
Well now. Perimeter clear. Alright. Don't look like this is the building that we're gonna be able to find clues on. There's mines around here that will explain more of what ended up happening to this colony. Sap is a lot better for her.
so there's only one other place we can go. Which is a shame. Yeah, we'll do a better one. I think Caden is better off with this um, seal module. more than a few dozen specimens. It's clear none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer. That same one that ended up doing that Thresher mob um, beacon over on the Sparta. So we base. So we're basically done here. We're just what else is around here? And then we'll uh, then we'll go back to the Normandy, end the video, and then head back to the uh, Citadel for some more upgrades and such. My equipment's concerned. 
that rail extension really cause, uh, is really causing my uh, heat absorption to go up by quite a lot. So if I, as soon as I find some other upgrades I can that can either counteract with the heat absorption, that's probably what I'll do. I'm basically firing 20% less shots before overheating, but, but in exchange, I am able to do a lot more damage. Later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Okay. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. I thought this way we'll know that we're I'm glad you see it. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Okay, let's go to the land requisition officer. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Officially, are super rich. If you actually exceed one million credits here, you get the rich achievement. save here and next time on let's play NASA factory we will go back to the citadel maybe do some upgrades do a few more quests here and then we will head on to Novaria until then I'm Crimson Thunder have a good day